Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week uh, Prince Auto sale flyer here. Let me just close my mic thing down there. There we go. Um, sorry I'm late on this one. Uh, like, really late. Like, really late. <laughs> really late. Like, ten days late. But anyways, um, I kind of let the last, the last one before this one lapse, and I thought, eh, maybe we'll let this one lapse too. Eh, Maybe we'll do it anyways. So, anyways, let's have a look here. And uh, so this is from the from February 7th to March 5th. So it's still within the flyer time. But anyways, normally I like to get them first kind of day or whatever. But uh, I kind of, you know, whatever. But uh, anyways. So, yeah, this is the national sale. Uh, yeah, this should be it. Oh, 90 years for Princess Auto this year. I didn't know that. Nice. All right, what do we got? Uh, looks like front page. Wow, these things ever gone up. Wow, we have they ever gone up? Wow, I got my set there. Oof. Must be five or more years ago now, and I think I paid about seventy bucks maybe for them. Not on sale. So wow, they've really gone up. One hundred and forty dollars for them now. Holy cow, man. Anyways, okay. And it looks like we got a little two-cylinder, no, two-cycle gas earth auger here. That's kind of different. I wonder if it comes with different sizes, too. I don't know. A little shelf, a drywall lifter. This more looks like surplusy kind of stuff. Man, there's a lot of little bit bitty-bitty things in here. 1,500-watt indoor-outdoor patio heater. Oh, boy. Door lock installation kit. All kinds of neat little stuff. Furniture lifter. Ooh. Okay. Uh, this should be some ads. There we go. More value. Five gallon gravity feed abrasive sandblaster. 115 bucks. That's not too bad, I guess. Ooh. Got this little air compressor on sale here. Wish I had some extra cash laying around. I might have gone and picked one of them up. My uh, stepdad just got one of them in quiet air compressor. Oh, man. I've heard in my time, oh, a lot of different air compressors, we'll say. A lot of them. Like, a lot. <laughs> I can't. I can't think of how many, but quite a few. When I start stop thinking, I'm like, wow, uh, over the years, I've heard a lot of different air compressors. And all of them are super loud, usually. Like, loud enough, you kind of can't really have a conversation in the same general vicinity. But this one he picked up here, oh my goodness, it was so quiet, I couldn't believe it. I kind of like to replace the little guy I've got in the shed there, but then, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know. Um, probably wouldn't spend money on that. But anyways, he's uh, he's had his for oh, a couple of months now, and it's, it's been pretty good to him. So, and quiet. Wow, quiet. Anyway, sorry. Let's get back out of here. 120 volt multitask sharpener. Oh, wow. Seven piece angle grinder brush kit. Oh, I see. Okay. And then regular brush. I was looking at something like angle. Okay. <laughs> I uh, got some drill bits, some step drills, a little floor jack, pop-up paint shelters, a little uh, weld-on jacks, jack stands. Oh, they got the brake cleaner on sale again, and that's still more than I paid that one time. I've got a case of it here, actually, and uh, boy, I paid two eighty-eight. That was so cheap. That's why I got a couple of cases when I was there. But uh, wow, yeah, that's uh, even that's four bucks is pretty good. But two eighty-eight, I got it for it was a really good deal. Like here you go, just take a case with you, kind of thing. Almost, eh? it's so cheap. Trailer. They must have changed their flyer or something here. This is this is different. Huh. It's it's smaller. Like it's smaller things to look at. But anyways, maybe they're doing that so they can jam more stuff into it. I don't really know. I'm not too sure what the deal is with that. Booster cables, one gauge, battery analyzers, load tester. 
Not too bad. Some little digital multimeters, 70 bucks. Wow, there. That's probably a pretty good one though. To fifteen dollars, so I mean it's probably a lot more functions, but this one probably doesn't do too bad on its own. Spray adhesive, vibratory tumbler, nice. Oh, there's the ultrasonic parts cleaner. Wow, I didn't pay that much. This must be a different one. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a different one here. Holy smokes, that's way way image unavailable. Okay, great. That's so oh, come on. Boy, it sure looks like that same exact one that I just picked up for like $49 last time. Wow, why is that one so much? Maybe it's... No, it's two and a half liter, I'm pretty sure. Wow, anyways. Holy smokes, that went up a bit. <laughs> it's regularly 170 No, it's got to be something different with that. I don't know. Uh, some nice pipe wrenches. Hex key sets. Tell you, you got to spend a little bit more money on a set of hex key sets because you can get some of these ones like this and they are pretty junky. Like they do round off the metals, not hardened or whatever. And it's, ah, it's not treated right or something. And uh, it's just not quite as good. Pressure washer carts. Boy, this is so small. I really got to get in here and look at this. Some nice LED shop lights. Well, they're enough too, aren't they? $54 normally. Holy cow. Stainless steel tables. Meat mixer. Those are all your meat processing stuff. Jerky cannon. I think that's funny. <laughs> Vacuum sealer. Some tie downs. And it's funny too. Uh, blue water can normally you see like gas can or diesel can or something but blue water nice okay this must not have been the right flyer let's try this one february 14th princess auto well equipped for winter maybe this is it here this looks more like flyer here so that was just a uh Monthly national sale. This is the two-week sale, I guess, here. Yeah, sounds about right. All right. Well, let's have a look at this one. Tap and die set. Submersible pump. They're, uh, oh, these are Eaton's, but, boy, I don't know. Maybe unless they change, but some of their plugs there that they sell, very questionable very questionable quality. Yeah, some of them could be a little, maybe a little better, like the plastic's kind of different on them or something. And I, I, maybe the plug part's fine. I don't know, but I've got uh, the one 220 volt plug that's on my, my air compressor in my little shed. And uh, one of these, we'll use that for an example, one of these pulled right out because it's like a twist. So you twist it and then lock it. Well, I know, I just didn't like that, I guess. And it ended up pulling, so this whole thing kind of half pulled out. Like, ooh, I don't like that. So, anyways, some toe straps. Ooh, that gets out pretty hot, doesn't it? Trigger start swivel torch kit. Hmm. Flame temperature, 1982 Celsius, 3600 Fahrenheit. That's pretty warm. That's probably that nap gas. Like that's what these yellow ones are. All right, a little bit of advertisement. WD-40. Woo, WD-40. Look at all the stuff they make now, eh? Wow. That beautiful, nice lift. No, can't do that. Some jacks. Yeah, I think this is the normal flyer here. Some floor jacks. Ooh, motorcycle jacks. Nice. Cat floor jacks. 200 bucks. It's not bad. Oh, look, they're selling NOCO Boost stuff there now. Oh, man. That's pretty good. Save 70 bucks. Wow. And they're still making money off of that, I bet. Holy smokes, eh? Wow. Bluetooth battery monitor. Hmm. Cool. Jump starter with air compressor. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Until the battery's no good in that thing, which is probably a lead-acid battery. Uh... Smart booster cables. Boost. Brake clean. There's actual brake clean. Non-chlorinated. 
five bucks, six bucks a can. Engine degreaser. These little high 10, 10 ton hydraulic porta power rams are kind of neat. Grease gun. I like these ones, but I also like the ones better, I think, with like the the uh, hand grip on it. And you can, you know, I don't know, I've always had both, but I kind of like the, the hand grip ones better. Oh, they got some funnels on sale. They're just funneling in the savings. <laughs> Spray paints. Working hands, healthy feet. Oh, boy. Terry cloth. There's some uh, stuff you throw in, like oil and stuff. Absorbs the oil. Trailer items. Bearings, locks, and lights, and the little seven to seven to four plugs. Some tires. Some wires. Wires and tires. Ooh, they still got this thing, eh? Hmm. Kind of like that. But I don't really need it. I actually do need some. I should look through my box. Got to get some replaced stuff. Uh, receiver hitches and extenders. Ball mounts. Oh, some air tools coming through. Micro air die grinder. That's kind of cool. Needle scaler impact wrench. $35 impact wrench probably wouldn't be very good quality. That would be kind of neat to get one to take apart and have a look inside, though. But anyways. Oh, what is that? Drum sander and polisher. Hey, that's kind of cool. I got one of these. Um, maybe it, mm, Yeah, I've just got one of these. And actually, it's a pretty darn good tool. <laughs> it's actually pretty, really, really good. Wow, these ever gone up. Boy, I remember buying mine. I think it was $2.99. Regularly five twenty nine now. Pretty good sandblast cabinet, but it's not really a complete thing. Which, yeah. if you know what I mean, like it comes complete. But then, if you want the light bar that goes inside, you got to buy the little transformer thing separate and the light separate. It's like, wouldn't that shouldn't that just come with that whole thing? Maybe it does now. I don't know. I don't know. But this little guy here, the little black thing here, that's where you put your vacuum hose in and it good, works good to suck all the dust and junk out and then this is supposed to be the switch for the light but I never did set up mine I just kind of put a light and rest my light uh, right on the on the glass here and then look through it but anyways uh, air scraper tool kit don't have one of those though be kind of handy maybe sprayer some more sprayers paint tanks Mini push button air blow gun with turbo tip. Oh boy. There's a little air compressor. Probably a loud one though. V twin cast iron pump. Yeah. 5.5 CFM. He's a little smaller one there, but who wouldn't get much done with that? Uh, air compressor pumps. It's all right. Shallow impact sockets and deep sockets. It's torque torque limiting extension bars. Miner saw stand. Oh, I do need to get some of these. And I don't know why they only give you two of the uh, female ones and the rest all males. Sometimes it's you need one of these that's got a male on it. Two threads and you don't get that in that either. But 15 bucks, that's not bad. M style, that's what I run, so I should actually probably change to one of these over, I've got like the little quarter inch, and I just don't think it delivers enough air through that. It's, it's quite a long line, you know, when you get that all coiled up, and it's, well, 15 feet, 25 for this one. Could probably go a little bigger, but anyways, I'm thinking about in the shed there where I run it from. Well, I could just make up a hose too, I guess, and just officially run a hose over a pipe or something. But anyways, that's going from my air compressor up to um, my air hose reel kind of thing. But anyways, some electric spray guns. 
Some electric tools and polishers. Very nice. Some electric battery powered tools. Don't really know about much about them. They're 20 volts though. Interesting. Some more tools, battery powers, it looks like. Getting right into that, aren't they? Power fist stuff. Wow, that's that's good. They're keeping up to uh, everything else that's been coming out powered uh, by batteries, right? So that's good. Drill bits and stuff. Ooh, nice compound miter. Carbide hole saw kit. There's a good little step drill kit. You know, I bought a set, not quite this set, it was a set of three different sizes when they had them on sale Ooh, about a year or so ago, and I still haven't even used them. I don't know. I always seem to go for just a regular drill bit, but a lot of my stuff is kind of thicker stuff too, you know, so I'd have to drill through before, and then all of a sudden you're making the other side bigger, and I don't know. Not really into the step drill stuff, but for thin stuff it might be good. Oh, there's some of those uh, oscillating blades. Don't have one of those either. Flush cut stuff. It's pretty neat. There's some more reciprocating scraper blades. So that's kind of neat, actually. Put that in your sawzall or your reciprocating saw, which is one of these. That's a reciprocating saw. Dremel stuff. Nice shelving. Ooh, that's a nice table. 1,500 pounds. Wow. Multi-purpose storage bins. This is a big flyer today. We're only, like, here. We've got a long way to go. Storage bins and tables. Tool boxes and tool carts. Well, that's kind of a neat little tool. Butt seat thing, we'll say, for sitting on. 300 pound. Oh, neat. LED lights. Motion light even. Hey, now. Vacuum. Good set of gloves. And some lights. LED lights. Headlights. Headlamp lights. Polypropylene rope and some hooks, some shackles, wheel spinner, oh, multi, multiple catch and release mousetrap. Why would you want to release them? Why would you want to release them? That's kind of a neat setup, though. You could almost make that yourself. Put some bait in there. I guess they climb up and then fall in, and then they can't figure out, oh, I can't get out of here. Can't get out. Why would you on earth want to release them? Mice are the worst things, I think, on the planet. The only thing they're good for is for feeding bats. And that's about it. But anyways. Automotive O-ring kits. Oh, these are all those little boxy kit things, the hardware kits. I like these little things. Little washers, one-time use. Extension cords. That's a neat little cord system. Oh, that's a huge uh, power bar, too. Nice. Some fuel stuff, fuel pumps. So oh, not too much fuel stuff today. Whew, it's warm in there. 20 degrees. Room temperature. Contractor water hose. Some more little pumps. Galvanized wheel roll. Nice. Shovels. Oh, some more meat grinding stuff. Aluminum fish fryer. Some more ads. Oh, there's some nice uh, 20 piece, three quarter inch deep socket set. Ooh, that's nice. Hex bit socket sets. Torque adapter. Nice. Some wrenches and crow's foot wrenches. These dangerous things. I guess you're kind of meant to put like a pipe on them or something. I guess. I, I just... Oh, boy, that seems dangerous. <whistles> Sharpened. <laughs> well, there's some little mini stubbies combination ratcheting wrenches. That's nice. Some dead blow hammers. Hammer, hammer, hammer. And axe. 
hammer, a hammer. <laughs> Hog ring pliers with 100 rings. Hey, nice. Magnetic items. Oh, well, there you go. Magnetic trays. Some clamps. Some C-clamps. Bolt cutters. Screw, extract, st screw extractor kits. There we go. Well, that's kind of a neat set. Got a bit, every single bit in there you can imagine. Probably even ones that you're not supposed to have. I bet. That's probably not a kit that they should be selling because there's security bits in there too. Anywho. Some hand tools and cutters. Tubing cutters. Metal detector. Oh, drain snakers. Blech. Rafter squares. More ads. Some nice ramps. Truck boxes. Super nice LED lights. Towing lights. LED breakaway system. Oh, yeah. So if you, this pulls out of there, if your trailer decouples or something like that, then it locks the brakes on your trailer, hopefully. <laughs> Some auxiliary lights. Holy smokes, look at the size of that one. 50 inch, that's huge. $134, that's a pretty good price actually. I remember they first come out and these ones were like 300 and something, little wee ones. When they first brought them out. Oh wow, look at these winches, holy cow. 12 volt DC winch, 9,500 pound. Wow, that's a big feller. Oh, there's even a bigger one, never mind. 17,500 pounds. Holy cow. Very nice. Nice tie downs. Super hooks. Toe straps. Tie downs. Straps. Ratchet and cargo bars. Straps. Tire straps. Towing stuff. More straps. Oh, hydraulics. Okay, what do they got here now? This is a 125 amp inverter flux core welder. Holds up to 3 16 in mild steel. Nice. 200 amp multi purpose welder with LCD display. Mount up to 9 16 inch. Nice. And a stick welder. Some brushes. There's a little pinch welder, spot welder. That's pretty good. I've got one of those too, actually. Actually, I've got two of them. One I chopped the end off and put, um, what did I put on it? Something else. So I could go from there to, I can't remember what I put on it. <laughs> I don't remember. Then I got one that's just an extension for the welder too. It's really, really thick stuff. I think it's like three gauge wire or something like that. It's pretty, yeah, eight three. Yeah. Or, yeah, 8 gauge wire. Well, mine's bigger than that. No, maybe it's the same. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it looks like that one, anyways. Yeah, 3 wire. So it's, yeah, 1, 2, 3, and 8 gauge. That does sound right now. Okay. Heavy duty. There's a bunch of lock and pliers. Oh, I can't believe they still make these. Brace of chop saws. God, they're so dangerous. They do work good, but man, everything's just sparking all over the place. It takes forever to cut through, and those dry metal chop saws are so much nicer. Arbor press. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's a backward bolt cutter. Huh. Interesting. Some rollers. A little drill press. Oh, some surplus items. Flameless lighters. It's going to let you look at this here. I'm not going to really go through a whole bunch of ammo boxes, though. Little cooler. Some LED lights. Cable, coaxial cable. Guess there's still call for that. 
digital multimeter. Multicolor rechargeable 3D mirror light. Hmm. Air tool oil. Little mini air compressor for your car or truck. Drain pipe auger. Ugh. That's nasty stuff. Ugh. <laughs> Drains are gross. There's some old style Texaco. Wow. Wall thermometers. Hot plate. 1,000 watt. Some uh, hydraulic, what do they call these? Porter power? Hydraulic power units. Adjustable flow controls. Ooh, look at this one. Bet you that's got some, some squash pressure. It's only a, it's a six inch bore, but only 10 inches, 10 inch stroke on it. It's a pretty short guy. Shot presses up to 50 tons. There you go. Log splitter cylinders. Some hydraulic controls, control valves. Some nice wood splitters, Tobol gas wood saw. Huh. Well, isn't that cool? Not a very good picture of it, but. Wow, well, save 600 bucks off of that right now. That's crazy. Oh, there's a little video of it and everything. Okay, so you put it in there and zing. It's kind of like a buzz saw then. That's neat. And a wood splitter. Mm, backpack blower. Little mini tiller. Oh, he's so cute. Project showcase. I got stuff on the project showcase here quite a few years ago now. Can't get to it from here though, but uh, when I built the thumb for the backhoe. They put that on there. It was kind of neat. It's one of, one of the first ones on there, too. Some electric motors. Some pressure washers. There's a hose reel. They got one, something sort of like that. It works really good. Little Hyundai generators. 4,800, 3,500 watt. Gasoline inverter generator. Oh, there's little Honda engines. One inch shaft. Nice. WD-40, and I guess that is it. Well, we got two flyers in there today. Look at that. That's awesome. But anyway, it's your national sale from the, well, this one, 14th to the 26th, and the uh, this national sale here from the 7th to the 5th. 14th to the 26th, yeah. So anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. I didn't really see anything on there I needed, so uh, probably won't go down to the sales this time around. But I do apologize again for it being late, but uh, I wasn't going to bother to do this one. I thought, ah, well, let's have a look here. Well, we did her anyways. So <laughs> anyways, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. You guys have a good day, and happy shopping.